Hello and welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Justina. Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back and thank you for joining me today. So here today I'm going to explore the energies of the upcoming month, December 2023, the final year or month of 2023. And I will tell you how they will influence your zodiac sign, more specifically your ascendant sign, also called a rising sign on a deeper level. So here I follow Western astrology and tropical zodiac. You can also watch it for your moon sign or your sun sign if you wish. However, here, this is just to get a bigger picture. Always prioritize your rising sign here in this horoscopes on this channel. All right. So we've got a very busy month. So this month, Neptune and Jupiter will station direct. So there is this forward momentum happening uh, without a doubt. But at the same time, Mercury will be retrograde from the 13th. So what it means is that there could be that mental uh, cloudiness or perhaps uh, miscommunication or some travel delays that could take place, which I will explore in a moment. Here we start from uh, Venus moving into Scorpio on the 4th, 5th of December, depending on where in the world you are. And Venus will stay here until the 30th, 31st of December. So here, Venus in the first house, amazing, great news. Venus in Scorpio doesn't feel very comfortable. However, it is the first house. It's a new cycle and overall Venus in the first house here. Watch out uh, towards, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a tendency towards perhaps a little bit of obsession or with oneself so you could be uh, perhaps obsessing uh, with uh, your personal appearance for example or um, there could be a little bit of um, of that here uh, taking place and it's a negative manifestation or perhaps this could be also when a little bit of um, mistrust could be in play but here overall we you know brings a lot of a lot of boost and um, positive vibes it improves your outlook on life it also makes you feel appreciated by others and um, noticed even as well. You, if you usually feel invisible with Venus in, in your first house, you will see that, oh, you, um, someone appreciated your hard work. Someone gave you a compliment, for example. Someone, you know, you, you get, to, you could be getting um, a lot of positive feedback as well. So really, really positive energies here with Venus in the first house. And we also have Neptune stationing direct on the 6th at 24 degrees of Pisces. So that's the fifth house. So here with Neptune regaining its strength um, and everything connected to Neptune. So perhaps, you know, fantasy and that creativity, that's really great here for those in the creative industry. If you have your own business, so it will be easier to create uh, perhaps some lovely designs on Canva if um, this is what you enjoy doing or if you do that for your business. So it's this creativity, the creativity and um, it's it's back here, but at the same time, Neptune can also create some confusion, cloudiness when it comes to perhaps anything to do with your children, parenting style, your romantic side of life, or that creative self-expression to a certain extent as well. So if something isn't clear, find out why. Don't leave things to the last minute. Don't make any assumptions here around this um, direct um emotion here this event on the sixth neptune in the, in the direct motion because if something isn't um or it doesn't seem right then there, there there's probably something wrong with it so it's all about um gaining that clarity and uh, without meaning making any assumptions here especially here in the initial phase uh, of um december now at the same time we've got a new moon in uh, Sagittarius at 20 degrees on the 12th of December. So we've got a new moon in Sagittarius as your second house. So this could be about uh, launching a new service, a new product. If you have your own business, perhaps additional source of income. Perhaps this is about um, you, um, your new ideas or perhaps um, something to, to do with um, you wanting to manifest uh, a better um, financial future. So this could be about having some new financial goals. This could be about uh, perhaps some financial planning, budgeting. You're planting seeds at this point. So it's a new cycle, new idea, new beginning. It doesn't mean that you will get it instantly, but it's all about this conscious planning, something that probably will open your horizons, open your wisdom. Perhaps this is about a trip, a travel of some sort as well, or a foreign 
um, foreign income. Or... But at the same time, perhaps this is about a new job. You could be starting a new job at this point as well because the sun rules your 10th house. And uh, yes, yeah, so new source of income or new ideas that could help you to improve your financial situation. Right, so on the 13th, Mercury will be retrograde at 8 degrees of Capricorn. And this retrograde begins here on the 13th. It ends on the 1st, 2nd of January, 2024. It starts in Capricorn, it ends in Sagittarius. The pre-shadow period starts on the 13th of, um, sorry, on the 25th of November. And it ends on the 21st of January, the post-shadow period. So it's also essential to know the pre and the post-shadow periods. Because uh, this is when Mercury retrograde is already activated. It can already uh, bring some kind of Mercury retrograde uh, introspective um, issues. I don't want to say issues, but um, topics and themes, perhaps this is a better way to phrase it. Okay, so um, Capricorn. Capricorn, uh, your third and the second house are activated. So here, communication reconnecting here so overall this is about uh, reviewing reassessing your communication style returning to some courses that perhaps you purchased throughout 2023 so it's a really good time for revising them for returning into these uh, projects uh, refreshing your skills you could be also returning or reconnecting with people um, in your life. So it's all about refreshing your connections, your skills, and uh, any courses that you took uh, this year or last year. So you're returning, refreshing these um, learning materials, for example. If you um, started a new block a few months ago, then here during this retrograde phase, this could be also a good time for returning into uh, that project. So it's all about reviewing, reassessing, redoing, and uh, perhaps reconnecting with people. At the same time, when Mercury moves into your um, second house, into Sagittarius, in towards the end of December, you could be also returning some items that you purchased throughout the festive season. So keep all your receipts. But uh, this could be also about um, reviewing your spending habits, outgoings, money coming in and out as well. All right. So here on the 26th, we've got a full moon in Cancer at four degrees. Cancer is a water cardinal sign connected to action, taking action. So it's a very action oriented full moon connected to a cycle that started back in June, July. That's when there was a new moon in Cancer at a similar degree, and that's when this cycle began. Here, during this full moon, you are working, possibly working with the energies that have already were um, that were already initiated back in 2022, mid 2022. So it's all about releasing. You could be releasing an important project uh, out into the open. You could be also completing a course of study that you started during that time. This could be also, so yes, completions, releasing, strong realizations concerning your life direction, the direction that you perhaps want to move forward as we begin the new year. So there could be also a lot of thoughts and realizations coming up around this time related to the goals and projects that you set for yourself in the upcoming year. I really like the ninth house because it's all about these Mm, energies that allow us to move forward with our goals, that open our horizons, mind, that uh, release that energy of restrictions and uh, limitations as well. So we will explore it further uh, in December, but the final event is uh, for today is uh, Jupiter moving into direct motion here at five degrees of Taurus on the 30th of December. So as we end uh, the year, Jupiter is moving forward in the forward motion. So there's forward, there's this forward momentum here in the area of your relationships. And this can either mean that perhaps uh, a change of situation in your relationship or in a bar partnership perhaps uh, this could be also about meeting uh, or connecting with someone who could help you to progress 
uh, with a certain goal, idea, project uh, as well. Here, if things have been moving slowly when it comes to making or building connections in your life, in your business world, in your private um, life, for instance, here Jupiter will speed things up because at some point I, I released a little short video about that, but at some point towards from towards the end of January until the 1st of April, all the planets will be moving in a direct motion. So it's an amazing, amazing time to really get on with and move forward with uh, with um, your goals, your projects, whatever it is that you want to achieve next year. So here Jupiter will definitely help you to make it happen, relationships, connections, but overall Jupiter on its own is not going to, it's unlikely to produce a marriage, like just, well, a marriage partner or a love partner. We need more of a boost in order to make it happen but here you've got venus in the first house as well and saturn is moving in a direct motion so a forward momentum here with so many planets activated here as well and this could definitely bring some really interesting connections into your life if it hasn't already but we still have jupiter in taurus until the second part of may and this can really really uh, help you to attract some interesting people into your life with whom you could grow and um reach that fulfillment in your life so here we go thank you very much scorpios and uh, until the next time bye for now